Hello, Internet, and welcome back to an Author Plays Aura Kingdom. So, uh, I know things are a little bit different since we last left off. As a matter of fact, I even got some new duds, though, for whatever reason, I still haven't quite figured out how to get my character to face the camera. But anyways, um, so yeah, this is basically... I think I'm going to like make this a series, essentially. Um, I'm going to... Uh, words. I'm going to basically make this my quest to, I think, the... What's the max level? 65, I think? Something to that effect. It's my plan, at least. And am I not allowed to get chili peppers? Oh, okay, I'm just lagging. Okay. Cool. Okay, so now we gotta find stale apples. So, ooh. So, for those of you who um, keep up with that particular series on my channel, I do a Pokemon Insurgent series. And it's approaching its end. But the problem is that the final fight is bullshit. In that it's stupid hard. I have to fight a basically two legendaries and a mega that is somehow stupid fast than everybody else. Um, blah, blah, blah. Quests. So, what I'm trying to do is work on a team that I feel will be able to counter this. And, and deal with this effectively. The only problem is it's taking a lot longer than I anticipated. <laughs> so, I'm trying to find... I'm trying to play stuff in the meantime while I work on getting that series finished up, which is why yesterday I did Rise, and I actually... Um, for those of you that saw that video, there's now a comment on that on that video from the developer of the game. Uh, gave me some information and did mention that the game was an alpha, and I... I know I might have been a little rough in that video, but either way, um, I, uh, oh, that's a lot of quests. Anyways, um, they were very kind and understanding of my problem, because I ended up going onto the Game Jolt site and letting them know I was having issues, and they gave me some pointers and mentioned that there was going to be an update for the game this weekend, so what I'm probably going to do is go back to visit Rise, except when I do that... I'm more than likely going to be doing that over this weekend when the update is in place because there's supposed to be new content and new music even going into that game. So, that is my plan. Uh, fantastic forgery. So that is my plan, is to go and basically revisit that game once that comes out. I'm also working on... Obtain shiny metal lore, collect catalyst power... Okay, let's go do that. I'm also working on what is going to be my Siebel analysis video. Um, I noticed that <laughs> I noticed that my uh, my Siebel video did quite well, <laughs> to say the least. And thank you so much for all the folks. Uh, can I not do anything with these? Uh, okay, so do I fight? Do I fight the golems then? There you go. Have some... Have some fighting. Um, if you could show up, that would be nice. There we go. Okay. Coarse mineral dust. So what am I supposed to do? Um... Oh. This is not where I'm supposed to go? I'm so confused right now. I should have been paying a whole lot more attention, but I wanted to let you guys know what was going on. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm going to review the, the dialogue. Okay, we're back. So apparently I need to be fighting the golems themselves rather than mining at these rather than mining at these things. So that's my mistake. Um I saw this pick right here and I guess that is actually for a different quest, but either way, I goofed. It happens. But either way, I'm working on the uh what is basically the vocal script. Oh, okay. Um can I? Not enough backpack slots. Ah, balls. Anything I can do about that? Probably not. Um, can I salvage any of this stuff? Let's see. Uh, I'm saving you for when I level. You aren't overly useful to me. Neither are you. So we'll salvage that. We'll salvage that. Okay, now can I pick this up? I can. Okay, cool. Azurian point crystal. Oh, dragon points. Okay, cool. So we'll do that. You aren't helpful. 
you aren't helpful, so we're gonna salvage those as well. If only we could. Okay, anyways. Let's fight this stuff. So, I'm working on that. Alright, that only hits stuff near me. I'm working <laughs> I'm working on um I'm I'm gonna keep an eye out rather for Rise when that comes out this weekend. I'm always looking for new, interesting story driven games to play, and I I mean I can't say I know why my Siebel video did so well, to be entirely honest. Um, I I mean, I just kind of played it when it came out. And then all of a sudden, everybody was like, Hey, let's watch this video. Can we... Come on. Come on, just use the thing. Thank you. Um... Uh, Oh, is my backpack full again? My backpack is full again. God dang it. Okay, uh, we're going to go report to Perry, and then we'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. So I had to finagle a little bit with the... Um, dang, sealed wade. Okay. So what does this do? What do I do with this? Turn in for a reward. Oh, okay, this is... This is something I need to take over to the guards. The guards. Um, yeah, over there. There we go. So this will give me an opportunity to talk. So, like I mentioned, I've got a whole lot of nonsense that I'm working on for the channel, in addition to everything that I try to do with with my books and whatnot. Well, book, singular. I'm still a new author. But I'm just, you know, trying to keep a, trying to keep a nice balance and trying to keep you guys entertained. I mean, like I said, that, that Siebel video blew up significantly more than I, I thought it would. And I really appreciate all the folks that watched it. And all of you folks that are watching that may have subbed because of that video. Um, I don't know which of these... Okay, did I grab the destroyer? I did. Oh, okay, cool. And you have a thing for me. Cool. So let's go back. So, it's just... Like, that video... That video did a lot to inspire me in the sense that, you know, the reception that it got. Not, I mean, obviously it's a polarizing game in the sense that it's a very story-driven game. It doesn't have a lot, it didn't have strong gameplay. It was basically an MMO simulator, and MMOs, no offense to them, a lot of them are just kind of dumbed down as is. So, having the dumbed down version of the dumbed down version can be an issue in terms of things that are interesting. There we go. Cool. Um, I don't know. It's just... I, I really appreciated the feedback I got because it, it's now my... I mean, it's obviously my highest viewed video. It's a tiny little channel. Um, but it's now also... Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. Um, it's now also my most commented on video. And sure, a lot of that was uh, me because I was replying to everybody and trying to let them know what I thought and felt about the game and all of that jazz. There we go. And we'll boost our speed because we love that cooldown reduction. And we will choose our Envoy's path. But I don't know, it's just... It was... It was it was nice to be able to, to have that conversation with everybody and to... Oh, sorry, I didn't need you here, Seraph. I thought you were still hanging around. Anyways, um... I just, I enjoyed that. I enjoyed the, I enjoyed the dialogue that it opened up. And like I keep saying, I appreciate all of the folks that have shown up because of that. Uh, so we'll fight you, I guess. Come on. There we go. Uh, Seraph, you mind helping out here, buddy? Thank you. I kind of need your damage. Okay. Rotten petals. And then I need to container at them? Let's see. Um, okay, so I should just be fighting these guys then. Okay. That's easy enough. Oh, come on. How did that not hit? I'm standing right next to him, aren't I? More or less. Whatever. Just whatever, man. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna question it. Well, I mean, I am, secretly, but I'm not going to... I'm not going to continue to whine about it. Ah, 
Okay, so we got even more pollen. Not that we needed that. I kind of wish I'd been paying attention to what the quests were saying. In the sense that I'm kind of lost as for context on this. But at the same time, it was more important to me that I communicate with you guys. Um... I don't know who you are. Sure, I guess. You're gonna start whispering to me now? And I don't see why not. Uh, but anyways. Budding flower crystal. Oh! Get better together. Okay, thank you. I appreciate the... the help. I don't see him talking to me, though. I wouldn't... Not that I would know where to look, as somebody who's played this game for, like, two hours. Which is basically nothing for an MMO. Yeah, I can't really tell. Oh, I'm online. Have fun in the game today. Okay, cool. Is that like an auto message? I don't know. Oh well, we made a friend. And that's the whole point of these games, right? We made a friend. And we, we had to try super hard for it. <laughs> We just had to be in the right place at the right time, right? <laughs> Rotten petals. I guess we'll just beat the crap out of you, because we can. Kaboom! Okay. Honey flower pot. Honey I need to fight more of these things. Okay. Come on. Hit him. There we go. Can I please... Please give me some pollen. Not enough backpack space. God dang it. Okay. Uh, can I open you? No, I can't. Can I... Salvage anything? Nothing... Oh, I can wear this. And then can I salvage this? No. Okay. Um... I guess I'll throw out dried meat. Get the honey flower pulled. Oh, I need to do this. So we'll make that. Backpack space. Crap. Um. Throw out the giant mushroom. Make the item. Okay, we got golden powder. So now we can go back to Perry and tell him about how awesome we are about combining two power. Combining? Combining two powders together. And what would you like to talk about? Let's see, Alessa's horn skewer ability deals all sorts of holy damage. Interesting. Can I close this, please? Okay. Hi, how's it going? Ba 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 ba. Thank you. I know I'm awesome. You don't have to tell me. Please complete. Oh, I'm lagging. Okay. Uh, polishes your arm, applies gold. Okay. Never thought I'd make fool's gold again. I used to do it quite frequently in Helonia. Selena must have told her mother about me. <laughs> okay. Let's see. So we need to enter the windmill cottage and get tokens? What do tokens do? Huh. Why are you always so energetic? I adore the fact that it every day that every day brings new discoveries and experience. That's a very I, I like that. Very cool. Um how do I send messages to people? You can usually send items and monies to your buddies through the mail system. Okay. Try talking later. Okay, well, let's link up. And go to the windmill cottage. So away we go. Hidden quest. What's this hidden quest about? I'm actually from the village, but I'm deep undercover with the Cat's Eye Pirates. I suspect they've got an undercover spy in the village, but until now, I haven't found the kind of evidence I've been looking for. Huh. Oh, hey, I wanted to accept that. Wait a minute, what now? In here? Oh, okay. 
Pirate costume. Okay, cool. Well, let's just go here. Oh, so I just needed to look in the window or something and be like... Yep, there's pirates in there. And that's it? That's the quest? <laughs> it's just that I, I, I was under the assumption that this whole place is basically teeming with them, so... Okay. Live in that cottage. Da 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 Cannot just walk away from this. Selena could be hurt. One dart will knock out a po Okay. Huh. Interesting. Well, let's go back to the town and manage my inventory a little bit, because this is getting kind of stupid. Sneaky villager? Oh, this guy. Okay, glance this from side to side, looking somewhat into easy. Hello. You must have been sent here by the vice captain. I prepared a report on Helonia's recent situation. Interesting. Town information. Okay, so what kind of nonsense can I store away, if any? Expand your bank capacity by adding extra backpacks. Okay. Um, so I guess we'll put this in here. That in there. I can't open those for a while, nor those. Ethereal crystals. I have no idea what those are for. I don't really need these anymore. Oh, I probably should have sold some stuff while I was in town. I went to the bank in order to drop off all the items that I'm not going to be able to open for a while. Um, so I figured out how to do that with the bank. But I didn't really think to do that or anything else. I like to sell stuff off. This game doesn't have a whole lot of random loot to drop, it seems. Okay, here's the intel. And who is that behind me? Um, shadows? Nothing. The sneaky villagers rush, suddenly rush out from behind. Oh, there you are. I suspected that there was a spy among us. That is why I set this trap. Today is the day you die. Um, ow. Can we, can we not? Thank you. <laughs> I just wanted to be a good person. Okay, so there we go. That's it. Capture a cat's eye porter. Okay. And we're just gonna quietly put this pirate in our bag. And away we go. Jeez, that bag is huge. I got... I've got, like, massive muscles or something underneath these clothes, because being able to just, sl you know, sling a dude on my back like that, that's freaking heavy. Looks like this guy's totally clueless. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay, so we did that. Hope you had sweet dreams. Now wake up. <laughs> what are you doing to me? We're not planning to do anything at the moment, but that could change. Where is the girl from the cottage? Just don't hurt me. I was just going along with the adjutant follower's orders. We're supposed to loot the college. He then ordered us to take the girl to the main camp. I swear I'm telling the truth. The adjutant follower is still in the cottage. You can ask him if you don't believe me. Okay. So I need to go back in there. Let's go do that. Who's making all that racket? You have a death wish or something? It is me. I ask him straight for... Where is she? <laughs> Okay. Huh. I kind of missed what he was saying because I was too busy making a joke. Okay, so apparently Selena is taken somewhere. So I guess we will go and report this. Oh, okay, so she's kidnapped. She's not dead. That's good. <laughs> the, last, the problem, though, is that... Oh, okay. Learned a new mastery. Interesting. Advanced skills. The only thing I can learn is Sad Love Song. Um, Fortify Ballad. <coughs> Excuse me, to do what? Increases its damage. Really? It shouldn't do damage. Huh. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll learn that, I guess. 
How does that do damage, though? Recover 46 HP every second. Stacks up to three times. Oh, it increases the damage for other harp skills. Okay, I gotcha. So we'll boost that, we'll boost that. Assign the points, assign the points. There we go. Accept the quest from the pretty lady. Ex yeah. Just, come on, do the thing. Curse you, lag! Do I have to be off Beavis? Is that what the issue is? Come on, what do you want from me? Okay, so I had to log out and log back in in order to be able to talk to Madeline again. I don't know why. I, I could be having internet issues, could be server lag on their end. It's, it's tough to know. But either way, we need to go fight some mollusks, apparently. That's interesting. Um, well, let's go do that, I suppose. Okay, that doesn't... Eh, you know what? I'm not going to question it. It don't look like... Like, I'm not entirely sure what kind of creatures these things are supposed to be, I'll admit. I guess mollusk would be the best word for it? I don't know. It just seems weird to me. It seems very, very weird. There we go. And you can have some too. And music. Feel the jam. There we go. Stinky carrion. Lovely. Exactly what I need in my life. There you go. Have a little bit of this. Some of my dulcet tone. Dulcet. 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 <laughs> Words. <laughs> my dulcet tones. There we go. <laughs> Jeez. Way harder to talk than it should be. Hello. Hello, random person. Can I help you? Oh, jeez, I got a lot of stuff. Can I help you? person is just kind of staring at me menacingly. Yeah, I can't tell if this person is talking to me or not. Anyways. Um... Okay, so the boots... The boots are actually... Oh, this is my current equipment right there. Never mind. Oh, I can definitely wear that. Because that's new. Sort. And we'll salvage. Nothing. Got it. Okay, let's fight a mollusk. Dude, who are you? And why won't you say anything to me? Whatever. I don't know who you are, dude, but you're creepy. <laughs> Just hanging around me and not even saying anything. Not that I can see, at least. The giant shell nearby seems unnatural. You may want to be vigilant. So what happens if I do this? Okay. That wasn't so bad. Yeah, that was actually pretty easy. Okay, now we have this to go turn in, too. So let's go do that. <laughs> so I'm kind of hoping that we're able to reach level 20 this episode. I know it's kind of running long at this point, but that's kind of like my goal for this time is to level. Okay, cool. We did a thing. So let's open the thing. Points, points. Cool. Not that I know where my dragon points are, are kept, I admit. Yeah, because I really want to open these boxes. Okay, let's go fight some, some sand crabs. Because there are other kinds of crabs than those that live in the sand. I guess that's not true. There are, like, uh, I mean, not to borrow a term from Skyrim, but there are basically mud crabs that exist, too. Oh, what do you need? Hey, go back, go back, go back, go back. There we go. What do you need, Keith? Okay. The Mysteries of Refining. Okay. Please take these materials. They're rare refining ingredients gathered by our master ingredient hunter. Okay. Really is the best assistant. Primitive refining is enhancing equipment or alloys and other simple materials. For sophisticated refining, you must first learn the formulas from the recipe list. Once you've retained that knowledge, you can use those materials to create powerful trophies. Familiarize yourself with the deep sea core recipe first. You'll find it from the list. The instructions on the right will tell you what materials you need from the straight starlight alloy and drowned stone in that area. Okay. 
can boost your equipment's abilities, but they are randomized. With that said, now it's time to learn the beefy crab stew recipe. Deep with the crab claw to create... okay. So... Um... I don't remember where I go to refine stuff. Oh, that's right, I have to talk to him. Okay. So... New recipes... I need to learn the deep sea core. And this... Should I, I mean, should I just learn... Oh, jeez, that's a lot of stuff. Maybe I should wait. Oh, actually, I'm gonna learn the tsunami. Oh, never mind, I cannot, because that's way more money than I have currently. Okay. So... Let's do a deep sea core. And we'll make that. Okay, done. Nice. We're, we're doing stuff. We got a lucky deep sea core. And then, for a trophy, we want this, which is the Crab Claw and the Deep Sea Core. We make that, like so. And, well, bam, we have the Lucky Beefy Crab Claw. <laughs> which we can then equip. Yeah, because it's stupid good. Wow. Oh, we can have... Oh, okay. So you can have, like, multiple trophies. Very cool. And we talk to Keith. And say, hey, we did it. The ocean waves swelling crest as though bowing to you. I can tell from your look of astonishment that you've mastered the secret to refining the beefy crab claw. <laughs> Alright, cool. Then we're gonna go fight sand crabs. And we're gonna hit stupid hard now, I think. Yeah, that's a lot of extra damage and crit. Jeez. Every attack has any percent chance to call upon clear waters, which cover 84 HP per second for 15 seconds, and a plus 3% loot rate. Drop. Words. Phrases. <laughs> Aw, Beavis can't swim. That's unfortunate. Alright, let's fight some of you dudes. There we go. Have some music. Jeez, I hit super hard now. I like it. I mean, I know I'm a healer, but this will help me clear through quests a lot faster. Huh, what's in this old bottle? See, letter without an address. Excuse me. To the most beautiful girl, maybe you should ask Postman Gavin from Helonia to see if you can find the true recipient. Interesting. So I got that, I got that, I got that, I got that. Okay, well, let's fight some dudes, and we'll go from there. So hopefully with these three quests, we'll be able to level up to 20, and I can open up those boxes that I've had in my inventory for I couldn't tell you how long. And figure out what's inside of them. I mean, we can see what's in there right now, but I would like to actually open them up and see what I will what I will receive. Okay. So, blah 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 traps, set up traps, okay. Oh. Oh, okay. Apparently we're moving on. During the next quest, you will disguise yourself as Brayden to sneak onto the shore and place a trap there. You have to avoid the area the cat's eye parrots is watching in the process, otherwise you'll be forced to start over. Three traps have been put in your backpack. You must put them at the designated setup point. Do I need to do this now? I do need to do this now, okay. We're going then. Expect pirates Oh. This is interesting. I I mean it's just it's just water. There's that's all there is there. Oh. I didn't expect pirates patrolling the shore. Looks like things won't be that easy. There's just a lot of them all over the place. That's kind of the, the that's really the worst part about this whole thing, is there's just a lot of parrots everywhere. Oh boy, and they're all starting to... I'm getting closed in here. Can I just kind of scoot around like this, maybe? And then... Move over here? Are you going to stop right there? Okay, no you're not. Oh, come on. It's right there, I can see it. I just want to... I just want to put my bomb there. Okay, cool. So I guess we'll hand that quest in. Actually, just in case there's another thing... That we gotta do. Let's see if we can find the postmaster. Postman, there you are. Hi, I have a thingy for you. Uh, looks like you got a pretty old letter there. I'd wager the recipient is probably getting on in years. You ought to find old Loma. Do something as an unofficial. Okay. What the heck if I know where Loma is? Um, Thelonian man. He's got a very he's got a very official name. Oh, there's Loma. That was easy. 
Ba 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 ba. Looking for the owner of this letter. I remember a real class hang knockout a long time ago, but no one's sure where she is now. Last I heard, though, she still wasn't married. If you want to know more, you should ask Auntie May. She hears so much of the grapevine, she ought to start her own vineyard. Okay. Auntie May. So now the question is, where is that person? And where is this child king whatever? Oh, there's the child king. That was pretty straightforward. Hey you, I've got a conch for you. There you go. The sound was very loud. Children appeared, obviously attracted by the sound of the trumpet shell. They're all the same kid. <laughs> um, are there yummy things to eat? Okay. Very first thing we... Oh, okay. Silence suddenly fell. I still have other things to do. <laughs> I'm not listening to you. I'm going away now. Goodbye. Well, that worked. So much for being the Child King. I kind of feel bad for him. It's no fun... Oh, okay. Aw, we didn't level. That's unfortunate. Okay, well, let's find this whatever person. I don't remember her name. I'll recognize him when I see it. Hopefully. Maybe. Who knows? Um, Auntie May. There we go. See? I knew I'd recognize the name when I saw it. Okay. The most beautiful girl in this village has ever seen. Maybe if I was ten years younger, I could be that one. Um, Auntie May leaps up, gesturing excitedly towards the southwest. If you head down that way, you'll find the house of a lady who lives alone. I don't really know her personally. She doesn't interact much with anyone. But I've heard men older than me sigh over her at the bell as the bell of the village. Southwest. Oh, oh, her. Okay, cool. Is this letter yours? The woman's... Whoa, I leveled. Cool. The woman's eyes seem to light up when she sees the letter. This is definitely his handwriting. Finally some news from him after so long. It seems his ship met with an accident when he was on a long journey many years ago, so he wasn't able to return as he'd promised. Thank you so much for delivering this letter. Knowing his love for me hasn't changed means the world to me. Interesting. I'm not trying to ignore you, buddy. Okay, let's up our cooldown reduction. Up our HP. There we go. And dimensional fissure. Like a chill in the air, you sense evil energy gradually expand, gluttonous. Somehow you know what's coming from somewhere nearby. Crescent Hill. Then as a shifting of the wind, you sense a different kind of energy press itself against the first, as though trying to smother the creeping evil. Oh. As the energies collide, you grow dizzy, the world spinning out of control. Okay. Interesting. So I got a quest for leveling up. Why do I keep looking... What do I keep looking at... The f Why do I keep looking at the forest? Feel at peace when I watch... Oh, okay. Am I doing well? I've been watching you beat up one raging sand crab after another. Thank you. What's so special about your battle technique? As a spirit, I'm not constrained by gravity. I can attack from any angle. Interesting. How about linking up for me, buddy? Cool. Um... Talk to Barthold to report your quest progress. I don't remember who Barthold is. Oh, can I do this now? Yeah, that's what I thought. God dang it. Okay, well, let's report to Madeline. Actually, no. Let's open those boxes. That's what I wanted to do this whole time. Okay, so this box. Whoa. XP card. Um, bonus XP for 20 for 60 minutes. Weapon fortification scroll. Armor fortification scroll. And intermediate treasure charm. Interesting. Not enough backpack slots. Dang it. Uh, okay. Well, let's... Let's feed our Adol in here. How about a pure experience crystal, buddy? There you go. I had a lifelong partner. Apparently. Now can I open the thingy? No. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm gonna do some... I don't know, basically like some housekeeping stuff on my end. In terms of like getting the secret stones taken care of and whatnot. And then we'll pick it up next time. Um, I'm hoping to make this a once to one to two video a week series kind of thing. We'll see how it goes. Depends on how much you guys have been enjoying it. But either way, hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. I hope you guys will check in back next time for the next video. 
Um, if you did enjoy yourselves, then go ahead and go ahead and do that YouTube trifecta of liking, commenting, and subscribing. I'd love to see all those comments pinned out there below, as I mentioned earlier. But I hope to see you guys in the next chapter. Come to this. Will I become like him in the end? So I guess to fill folks in who aren't familiar with Aura Kingdom, um, the premise is that every player uh, has access to...